Switch it up. And you're gonna fix this, fix that a little more. Yes, sir. Thank you, son. Oh, that's a great day. Remember the Victor lawnmower. Yeah. And hi everyone, welcome back to our small engineer tutorial. Today we have this uh, Victor Echo Talk VA50 uh, two Victor stroke lawnmower. lawnmower. And it's not working properly. And it's very difficult to start. It's very hard to start. And won't go um, high ribs. So I'll show you what it does. So what? And I see let's, the hole let's get here started. And right here. And this not here. Hi! Okay, let's try if this one works. First, it's going to prime this one. Yeah. Turn on the tap. I want to do it. And prime. Oh. Let's press the prime. Why did it do that? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, go good. And then the choke. Okay, stay behind me. Behind me. Okay. Sorry. to start it's hard to start okay let's let's remove this one and I want my son to to remove the three bolts so we have the M8 here which uh, we, we have to we have to remove the, the three bolts M8. yeah okay 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 next one <laughs> okay thank you son don't worry we'll, we'll take that one out yeah. Okay, let me nice. take this one out. Okay. And we have access to the carburetor now. We're so going to remove this uh, carburetor. Those are dirty. Yeah. Okay, we will, are dirty. So we will clean this one first. Yeah. I'll come back. I'll come back in a few minutes. Okay, first is we need to remove this uh, carburetor. This one is on the decompression plug. Make sure that uh, you have to be careful when pulling the, the hose not to damage the, the nozzle. And rotate this one like that, counterclockwise. It's about 45 degrees and then pull. So it's removed now from the manifold. So one thing that we we have to make sure that to remember what is the current setting of the pocket valve at the moment because this is the original uh, configuration and I believe that this one hasn't been um, serviced since uh, since new or the the main carburetor so so currently it's positioned to C. So we're going to clean this. Uh, this carburetor and we need to to remove the the stop shoots first take this one out and and also the this part here release the spring and we need to take the the hose out so to remove this one um, it's currently it's on the um, stop position, so it's very easy to unhook this one from the, the cam. Maybe you won't be able to see it. And once it's unhooked, then just uh, 
to stick it out like that. So we're going to clean this carburetor and we'll have a look inside what's wrong with it. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, we will open this one. This one has uh, one ring, a jet. Carefully take the, so you'll see that the, the primer cap is still in great condition. So the the primer cap o-ring is a little bit deformed in somehow maybe this one was not sitting properly and this one needs to be replaced so this one still comes with the uh, genuine uh, Victor uh, needle so we can replace this one with our uh, metal needle just to make sure that it won't overflow or leak So we'll take this one out. So this one comes with the red uh, return spring. Let's inspect the diaphragm. The diaphragm is still in good shape. And you, you can see a water on inside because when I when I clean it, I blow the water inside. So I'll take this one out. That's a retaining plate, and this is the diaphragm. So when removing the diaphragm, maybe it's best to, to place the the head Philip uh, flat head underneath, and while assisting the other side of the diaphragm to take it out so the diaphragm is still in good shape it's nothing wrong or there's no problem with the diaphragm this is the control spring the lifter and the cam okay let's assemble this uh, carburetor there are two ways to install the throttle cable either we have to assemble the carburetor fully and before we install the throttle cable or just uh, place the cam first this is one 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 way of installing the assembling the carburetor so you can see that throttle cable here so you place this one just just like that and you will see that the the bolt tip it's lining up on the hole on the cam so now you can you can move the cam and also other other way is to fully assemble the the carburetor and let's let's do the other way okay we have the cam assembled the next part is the lifter place a lifter control spring so you have this pop it bulb place on the center so you hold the pop it bulb palm underneath so it won't fall off so the next part is the diaphragm facing that way so while holding the pop it bulb at the back of the rear so you just push that diaphragm 
and make sure that the lip of the diaphragm is sitting properly on the the side of the body so then the retaining plate just slide it to clip so maintain the, the lip of the diaphragm that's sitting properly then the control spring sorry the return spring so you have the return spring so this vacuum governor um, return or pipe must face towards the stop switch so you push one side first then grab it and then seal it then the next part is the placing the assembling the primer cap so we have this uh, metal needle this is a uh, very excellent for sealing the the seat so it won't it prevents from overflowing so from flooding the carby so just place the metal needle then the float then we have a new primer cup o-ring just place the primer cup o-ring around it and with the silicone um, lubricant or any lubricant you can use just place the lubricant around the o-ring and hold the hold the float while placing the one into the the carburetor so place it inside then make sure that this is on horizontal the the line that says line to be horizontal must be on horizontal so just press that around then the jet to secure the the primer cup tie the jet but not too much because the thread is a is made of plastic so just enough to to tie the secure the primer cup so it's all assembled so when um installing the the throttle cable make sure that the this part here is lining up with the with the line of the throttle cable with the with the hole of the the cam so just place the throttle cable like this and make sure that if the ball, ball point of the throttle is way too far from going into the the hole of the the cam you need to move the the throttle control to retract the the ball point or the hook until you get you get you hook the the hole of the the cam so you can hear that it's locked in make sure the cam moves so when the cam moves so you'll get it right so we also have a new uh, replacement uh, stop uh, plug and also the stop um, plug cover so first is we need to replace the the cover I'll take this one out and this rubber the rubber boot so we need to replace with a new one I should place the, the cover first before the, the rubber boot so 
first is we need to make sure that we have this one installed correctly okay now it moves so just place this one on the full throttle position or halfway place on halfway so that won't come up anymore we can place this one now okay that's already in place so the next part is this one here we need to insert the one of the stop plug so using a long nose small long nose plier to assist the pushing the rubber in so we don't push this uh, this terminal of contact you push the rubber the boot rubber then the cover so you see the hole there see that hole and, and it passes from the other side the other side also have the hole where the other contact will go through that hole and it passes there so it goes through that hole of the rubber so I have I have the shown this one many times on my, my other video to assemble and install the carburetor of the two-stroke Victor but I think it's worth uh, showing you again because um, they are all different carburetors they are all different machines so instead of uh, watching this video and going to another video to have a look how to assemble the carburetor so in this way you don't have to go through other video again and watch other video and if your machine is exactly the same so so we insert this one here and we should be able to see then going through that other side here which we we saw that okay just uh, line it up and we have this uh, governor insert governor hose there so to insert this one just place this one 90 degrees or 45 degrees okay so then horizontal so this one will go through the decompression valve Okay, let's try to start the engine. Thanks for watching our video repair tutorial for today. I hope you enjoy and find it useful. I hope you learn from the troubleshooting. And the main problem with this is the the stop switch uh, plug uh, is well worn out, and it allows the plug to move uh, freely from from inside. And the total cable come off from the the cam, so that's why we can't change the the speed. But still, we need to. Uh, clean and rebuild the carburetor and check what's inside and I hope you learn from um, our video repetition for today and thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel 
and leave a comment if you have any questions so thanks for watching see you next time and bye for now